Cheers. The Oxy Shred I usually don't take, but I ordered it from a supplement company. I ordered um, BCAs and EEAs, but they sent me Oxy Shred instead. Um, I only tend to take Oxy Shred maybe when I'm cutting a little bit for a holiday. Otherwise, I don't think you need to take it all year round. It's just like a, another supplement to add to your shopping list and it adds up. So yeah, but it is nice to have in the morning with cold, cold water and yeah. Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. I just ran out to the door and picked up this parcel. I left some of my SD cards in the French Alps and I hadn't got the content off them. And I was like calling the hotel like multiple times being like, can you please send them back to me? Can you please send them back to me? So they have, I had to pay 40 euro for it. It's okay, it's okay, it's the memories. And I just have breakfast. I've got a croaky voice because I'm kind of sick. And I'm debating, do I go to the gym and do stretches and sauna or do I just leave it? But I have breakfast here, nice big bowl of breakfast. And I'm actually tracking my food today, guys. So welcome to uh, what I eat in a day in London. I have not filmed for a hot minute. So I really thought this was a great video to start it off. We're in winter now, so I'm really just focusing on eating well, staying healthy, gym, trying to limit my alcohol. Um, my skin is honestly looking amazing for how much stress I've been through. Like, I literally, it's so smooth. I'm like, I feel so confident without makeup, which is a massive thing for me. I've dealt with skin problems my whole life and with my PCOS. So I'm just like thriving. I'm just so happy about that. But um, yeah, I'm going to eat breakfast, maybe call a friend from back home in Sydney and get this vlog started. So I hope you guys enjoy and sit back, relax and enjoy this vlog. Just a work it a little get hot just a little me So guys I bought like so much new active wear but I'm so excited I'm going to put on a little fit now and head to the gym to do some stretchers and maybe a sauna and then I'm meeting my friend for coffee afterwards which will be so nice and then do a few errands like return some parcels and stuff like that because I haven't faked tan this weekend I'm gonna wear like this khaki green because it looks good when I'm pale as well so I also love these little I don't know how to say them boleros oh my god I love wearing them because I'm quite like not insecure but I just don't like how big my shoulders are so I just like that this covers it up Like that I feel like and you know what I feel like it makes the outfit way more girly like like that and then I'm just gonna pair with these shoes on my way to the gym it's not raining so thriving So guys, I just got the train to the gym. I'm in Farrington. And then I just come to Crepe and get my coffee. Coconut milk, strong, flat white. First coffee of the day. So now we're gonna go to the gym, do some stretches, and just get the body moving, do some foam rolling. And yeah, I'll show you guys my mobility workout.
guys so I just finished my session and it was okay I've had the last two weeks off because I like hurt my hamstring when I was doing the splits and I could kind of still feel it when I was stretching and the last two weeks I've just been doing cardio and then I had two leg sessions this week and my legs just like got so sore and like you know that like post muscle soreness like I never really get that because I train legs so much but I was like limping at work so yeah I just took it easy today listened to my body still kind of just nursing that injury and hopefully in the new year I will come back injury free and can hit legs again and get ready for Europe summer 2024 um, but yeah it was still a good session and now I'm gonna go meet my friend in Nando's at Good Street so yeah we're gonna get the train there the tube um, the central line and catch up with her because I haven't seen her for quite a while so it's gonna be so nice Hey guys, so I just got home now, it's 4 o'clock and I met my friend for Nando's and then we just walked around Oxford Street and oh my god it was so claustrophobic and so busy. Everyone doing their Christmas shopping so I was like girl I'm gonna go and she's like no worries and then she's working at an event that I wanted to go to in London so I think I'm gonna go tonight because she's there it was just like a, like a light display with all these flowers and it's my brother's like anniversary coming up and it's a really hard time for me so I was gonna go there on Tuesday but I think that's when the exhibition finishes so I think I'm gonna go tonight and just have a bit of me time and you know just go to the event and just yeah really be thankful for my brother looking after me and watching over me this whole year because I feel like he has um and yeah I'm gonna do that and then come home and chill out and yeah have an evening in chilling have some food and get another good sleep because I'm still sick so I'm going to make a chicken burger, have it here before I go out because I don't know how long I'm going to go out for and I don't want to buy food when I'm out but I'm going to prep for two because I'll probably have another chicken burger when I come home. So I had a chicken burger for lunch, I'm having a chicken burger for pre-dinner and a chicken burger for dinner. So yeah. <laughs> Avocado. I love avocado. Is brioche bun, chicken, avocado, carrots, and mayo. Is 373 calories. But I don't really track my food anymore because I tracked it for like a year when I first started going to the gym, and now I can just like eyeball things. Like when I squeeze the mayonnaise out, I know how much is like a tablespoon, um, which is a serving suggestion. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my burger and head down to the light display. Grab myself a prick coffee and then I'm just gonna map where it is because I literally don't know where anything is in London. It's really nice, I'm just here at the flowers and just really thinking about my brother and I'm hoping he would be so proud of me and everything I've done in London, moving here on my own and travelling Europe. But yeah, it's just a really nice sentimental night. These flowers and this display is beautiful and a good memory of them. So 
so I'm home now guys I've got another chicken burger um, and I'm just gonna eat the chicken burger and watch some Love Island and chill out so exhausted ah, this is just such a good Saturday night on my bed watching some reality TV eating some good food so well hey guys so I have apple and some dark chocolate I'm gonna have two squares of this and a few sweets because I'm coming up to my period I'm craving a few sweets I just finished logging all my food and I was actually really happy with how many calories I ate today um, but I didn't think I hit my protein intake that I really wanted to so it was really good to like track today and just sit that is what I am eating normally but at the end of the day my carbohydrate Carbo, my carbohydrates were 295 grams so I'm really happy with that because I'm training a lot and I need the energy my fats was 107 grams which I think that's quite high and I think I know why it's because of my avocado on my burgers and my protein was 148 gram which not gonna lie that's not bad it could be a bit higher um, but I like to eat intuitively so I feel really good today I don't feel bloated my digestive system is working perfectly so also I go off how I feel um, I just think it's really important to hit my protein and to hit my carbs because I need the protein to build muscle and I need the carbs for energy so yeah that's all together I had 200 2700 calories so that's quite a lot um, but I'm really happy with that because obviously I want to eat to maintain my muscle and I also think I do a lot of walking in London I walk to the gym I walk to my coffee shop I walk everywhere I walk to all the tube stations so when I look at my steps on average I hit 10,000 without trying so like today 12,000 and 13,000 steps and that wasn't me going on any walks that was me walking down to Oxford Street uh, walking to the gym walking home stuff like that so yeah I think that really plays into me being able to eat a lot more is because I'm training in the gym and then I'm also walking a lot but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um, it was so nice to go to the park today and really remember my brother it's always a hard time this time of year for me being away from family and away from home but it was really special to go to that park and just kind of be with him and think about him and yeah sort of hope he is he is watching over me and looking after me and I hope I'm making him proud but I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog and I will be making so many more but I will see you in the next one bye I'm gonna be just like you